Shalom from Jerusalem. I'm Nick Vanderlaan. Today's the 21st day of the fifth month. It's August 9th, 2018. Again, I'm broadcasting this message from Jerusalem, Israel. This video is going to be called The Two Golden Lampstands, and it's an update to my video, Elijah and the Two Witnesses Identified. So, that same video, uh, Elijah and the Two Witnesses Identified, was also co-titled co Elijah the two witnesses in 42 months equals Elisha a prophet Elisha which was who was the success, successor of Elijah the two she bears and the 42 mocking use of 2nd Kings chapter 2 so these are the videos that I've done on the 40 on the two witnesses I relabeled this old and outdated there's a little bit of information in here but I really don't recommend it this is the video that I just did. It's a very long. I did about a few weeks ago, um, and I was challenged by someone regarding um, my understanding of what happened to Elijah. Okay, because in the video, um, anyways, I'm gonna get into that right now. But I definitely recommend you watch this video uh, if you haven't seen it and have the time. Maybe on one and a half speed. So um, what what I was challenged on this video was that um, basically I had said uh, uh, there was some information that had come across that I've heard at other places as well but I basically said that uh, you, Eli Elijah was not taken up to the third heaven um, but rather transported to another location somewhere in the region here on earth and the reason for that was because he wrote a letter to the king after and the king received this letter after he was taken up in this whirlwind okay and so I got somebody that challenged me on this, and I've been looking into the matter somewhat, and it's really extensive. But basically, there were two Jehorahams right here during his time, and so this made it pretty confusing, okay, regarding the uh, um, regarding the reconciliation of the time period and who when he wrote this letter and everything else there's so much speculation out there it's so confusing and and, and so I want to withdraw okay the fact that Elijah uh, wrote this letter afterwards and I'm gonna come and have a position right now that I'm indifferent to it okay I haven't done the research now to go back and find out what if it if, if it was true or not um, so I'm going to go ahead and withdraw that. And again, you know, I'm not, uh, this is information that I published, that I put out there that I want to make sure that I clarify on. And what I mean, it doesn't, I'm indifferent to it. It doesn't matter regarding what I was talking about. And the reason why I say this is because I'm still 50-50 regarding Elijah. If the actual Elijah the prophet is going to return, or if someone's going to come in the double portion spirit of, Eli of Elijah, just as John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah, I believe someone's going to come in the double portion spirit of Elijah, just like Elijah's successor, Elisha. And so what I mean by that, there's a lot of information out there. Uh, we know that John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah, but he wasn't doing miracles. But if Elijah was alive, wouldn't he have come before Yeshua? He didn't come there. Um, and then secondly, down here, Eliyahu appeared in the vision with Moses on the Mount of Transfiguration in the same state as Moses. And Moses had died at 120 years. So I figured that if Elijah appeared in the same vision in the same state as Moses, he must have also had died. Okay. So with that being said, I'm indifferent. If Elijah the prophet comes back, Yes, he'll come back, but also at the same time, there's a possibility that um, someone's going to receive the double portion spirit of Elijah, just like Elisha. So I'm indifferent. I'm 50-50, and it, and it doesn't matter. So um, I didn't have the time to go ahead and clarify all of that um, as far as the reconciling those uh, Elijah, but that's done. But what's important is that in my, it was, uh, remember, I equated Elijah, the coming Elijah, plus the two witnesses in 42 months, that 42 month period is going to be equivalent to Elisha, his successor, um, the two she bears that he sent 
to, to, uh, which killed 42 mocking youth that were mocking him because of his bald head, which I believe could have been a Nazarite vow, but I haven't confirmed that either yet either. And so getting back to the two witnesses, it's important, and this is what this video is about. I want to update you guys on the two witnesses, okay? I already proved prophet, the witness number one is going to be the prophet of Yah, John, the disciple of Yeshua, the revelator. It talks about it here. I've already discussed it. You can go through this and read this for yourself. I, John, whom also your brother and companion in tribulation. So he's going to be a companion in tribulation. And it says in Revelation 10, And he said unto me, unto John, Thou must prophesy again before many people's nations and tongues. Okay, and then right here, uh, Yeshua, you know, Peter asked, uh, Yeshua spoke of what death Peter would have, which would glorify Elohim. Uh, Yeshua told him, follow me. Then Peter, turning about, asked, saw the disciple whom Yeshua loved, which was John, the revelator, following, which was also leaned on his breast at the supper and said, Master, which is he that betrayed thee? And Peter saith unto him, Yeshua, Master, uh, and uh, what shall this man do? And Yeshua said to him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. And then with this saying among the brethren that this disciple should not die, yet Yeshua said not unto him, he should not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? And this is the disciple which testify of these things and wrote these things. And we may know that his testimony is true. And this is John, the disciple John, writing these things. Okay? So we went over that. Okay? Um, and there's a lot of other information down here regarding John. Okay, he's the son, his, his, in Greek, his, 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 a nickname was Bernerges, but I believe in the Hebrew it was Bene Ragaz, which means sons of rage. And just like those she bears, um, these two witnesses that are going to be in sackcloth and ashes, people think that this has to deal with mourning. I think that it has to deal with rage. They're not going to be happy campers wearing sackcloth for 1,260 days. Seriously. So. Um, the biblical identity of witness number two, I wasn't so certain on, but now I'm getting more information that I can actually link them. So I had discussed this in the previous slide. Witness number two was the prophet of Yahuwah, Daniel, the prophet Daniel. And it, because there was a very cryptic verse at the end, the last verse of Daniel, all the book of Daniel, it says in chapter 12, verse 13, But go thy way until the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot, at the end of days. This is the same thing like John. John was to tarry. He's, here's Daniel is resting. Okay. And so um, this is what Daniel and John had in common. Both had visions of Yeshua in glory. Both had the two major prophecies of the 70th week, which is that seven year period. And the details of the time lengths of the two 1260 day day counts, which was 42 month periods, and the events therein. So they both prophesied and had this amazing insight into this. Um, but according to the scriptures, both according to the scriptures, as I said, appear to be resting and not dead, but they're resting somewhere and will awaken at a time prior to the 70th week or on it. Okay, and then I said, hey, if John be from Zebulun, some people say Asher, but still it's the northern kingdom of Israel. Uh, then together with Daniel, who's the southern kingdom of Judah, they both fulfill a full witness to what would be the unified kingdom of Israel. And what else I want to share, what's new, is that both are beloved. They're both beloved. And what I found was when I was going to Daniel today, it hit me that three times in Daniel, in chapter 9, verse 23, chapter 10, verses 10, and verses 18, Okay, it says, beloved, beloved, beloved. Daniel was beloved. Okay, just like John the Baptist, this is a Wikipedia page, uh, or down here, but John was beloved just like we just read about. Okay, the disciple whom Yeshua loved. Okay, and uh, six times in the scriptures, this is kind of, he referenced as this. So both of them are beloved. This is the link. And I want to share, I have some more information on this coming up in another video, but I wanted to share this update. And if you haven't seen that video, I go over it a lot more in depth. You need to watch my video on Elijah and the two witnesses identified. Okay? Um, 
because I firmly believe it is definitely John the Revelator. And now I link, I, I think I had some more information that strongly supports Daniel the prophet. So I'm signing off for now and shalom.